This is the homepage of Skims by Kim Kardashian, and it's a great looking homepage with lots of amazing product content, even has a slider element and more product content. And this is what I've just built with an instant, in a matter of minutes and all without code. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can build something like this yourself. So let's get started. Here we are in the builder and I've did a bit of prep work. So under brand styles, I've uploaded the colors that Skims uses and within the asset panel, you can see all the assets that they use. You can also get these assets from your Shopify environment, but I don't have access to the Skims Shopify environment. So I've uploaded all the assets right here. To get started, let's drag in our base row and within this base row, we will drag in a slideshow element. Then in the layer panel, we can delete these navigation items because we don't need them. And then within slides, we can set the height to a fixed height of 600 pixels. Then within this first slide, we should set the fill color to an image. And then we select hero image one. There we go. And then within this particular slide, we can drag in our text elements. So we have a header, then we have a bit more text and underneath we can drag in a button. There we go. Then we should set the distribution to start from the bottom and we can add some inside spacing to the top and bottom and to the left and right. So there's some space between the outer edge of the site and then where the content starts. Now let's also add some, uh, some gap. So there's more space between the buttons and the text elements. So let's say 18, this looks about right. And now let's fill in the right content. This should say new arrivals this button should be below this text element and then this should say spring into second skin comfort this color should be white there we go the header color should also be white and then for the button it should say shop now and we need the button to be a little bit bigger so we can add some inside spacing to the left and right let's say 40 this looks about right and then we should change the color to this nice and dash color then one final thing is to change this font to bold and also change the color of this text to this nice and brown color and there we go now that we've created the first slide we can duplicate this one remove the other two and then fill in the right content on the second slide so let's go to fill change the image to header image two. there we go and then this should say the spring shop and the text is a refresh for spring with new basics and then the call to action is the same then we can select the slider element in the layer panel click on add slider and then we can animate this a little bit so we want this to autoplay um, the delay looks about right, but I do want the animation um, to be a bit slower when it goes from slide one to slide two. So let's change this to 500 milliseconds. Preview, and as you can see, there's a smooth transition. Next up, we have the two product categories, dresses and bras. So let's drag in another row below. We immediately set the inside spacing to 40 top and bottom. 40 left and right and then within this row we drag in two columns and then we can set the height of these two columns to 600 pixels and then we can start with customizing this row on the left so we should change the fill from a color to a image find the dress image there we go on top of this image we need to have the same elements that we can find right here in the header so let's simply copy and paste them into this element right here there we go also the text and then as well the button the distribution should start from the bottom then we also need to add some inside spacing to this row 40 by 40 this looks about right and the gap is a little bit too big it's set to 32 right now but let's change this to 18 as well and then make this text element a bit smaller 36 looks about right and this should say dresses 
Then we can duplicate this row, delete the other row, and then fill in the right content. So this is the brass category. There we go. This should say brass. And now we can build the next section, which will hold four different product categories with text underneath and some call to action. So let's drag in another row. We can set the inside spacing to 40 and 40. And then within this row, we will drag in four different columns. Then above, we will add a header text, which should say featured collections. Then we can make this a bit smaller again, 36 and the right content. There we go. And then within these rows, we should drag in a image. This image can be 350 pixels high. And then underneath this image, we drag in a few text elements. So a header, then a paragraph, and then more text. This should be at the top. There we go. Then there's quite a lot of space between these uh, different columns. So let's change that by changing the gap to 18. This looks already better. And now let's customize this row a little bit further. So we can delete the fill color. Then we should upload a image. This is the t-shirt image. So let's find it. There it is. And then this should say the t-shirt shop, the t-shirt shop way too big the text so let's make it smaller i would say 32 or maybe even 24 the right color and then this should say your one stop shop for skims signature t-shirts and this should say shop now this font can be um a different weight so let's change this to semi bold the right color and it should also have an accent with a line underneath so we enable this right there and then again the gap is a little bit big so let's change this to i would say 12 this looks way better already uh, and now what's left to do is simply duplicate this three more times and fill in the right content And this section is done. So let's continue with building a product slider underneath. So we drag in another row, insert the inside spacing, 40 top and bottom, 40 left and right. And then within this row, we will drag in a slider element. Then we can select the slider element. On the right, we go to edit slider. And then we can change the number of slides that we can see from three to, in this case, four. We have the navigation item here in the bottom. We can delete that. And then we should change the inside spacing of the slider element to zero because we already added inside spacing within this row. And now we can upload the right content. Each slide will have a image and then underneath two text elements. So within this first slide, let's drag an image set the height to 300 pixels and then underneath we should drag in two text elements there we go and now let's customize this so the first product that we're gonna work with is this one right here and then this should say the naked scoop bralette and the costs are 52 dollars the alignment of this slide should align from the center, so the content is nice in the center. Then we need to create a bit more space between the elements within the slide, so let's change the gap to 12. We can remove the fill color and then change the text to the right color, the right weight, and do the same thing for the text element underneath. Weight, semi bold. And now what's left to do is simply duplicating this slide and filling in the right content.
And here we have the slider. If we preview, you can see that we've created a nice and working slider element. One thing that's left to do is add a text element on top. So within this row that contains the slider, let's drag in a text element. If we go to the layer panel, we can see that the text element is not really in the row, although it looks like it. So let's drag this within the correct row and then add this on top and then set the alignment from the center so it's nice in the center and it should say just in the, the color should be the correct color and then size 36 and there we have it the next section we should create is actually somewhat similar to this one right here so let's duplicate this section and then we drag this underneath the slider and then we can delete this text element. The height of the image should be a bit higher because these images are larger and it looks better that way. So let's change this to 400. We only need this text element and it should align from the center. So let's do that right here. This font should actually be a bit larger. 24 looks about right. And then it should say the swim shop with the correct image the swim shop image and there it is so once again what we need to do is do the same thing for these three rows on the right so we duplicate it and fill in the right content and there we have it the rest of the skims homepage is actually a duplicate of this section right here and this slider section. So to do that, we simply duplicate it and then we drag it underneath the other row. Then we can duplicate this section right here and drag it underneath. And that's basically it for this tutorial. So let's quickly preview what we have done. We have the nice hero section with a slider element. We have the product categories, more categories, slider element, and then it sort of continues. And that's it for this tutorial. So I hope you have a good understanding on how to build something like this yourself, all without code and good luck.